The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Hi, it's Prime here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Um, we're going to talk about uh, um, financing properties on top of commercials. So basically, this is a typical flat Clarity. above a shop. Um, now, there are lots of different, obviously, uh, shops out there. There's different commercial elements. Uh, and, and there are some difficult ones to finance. And there are some simpler ones to do. So we're going to run through some of those. Um, uh, from time to time we get inquiries obviously there's a lot of flats certainly around the London area where they're on top of commercials and they're much harder to finance so your average high street lender may not lend on them in fact a lot of them we find they don't lend on them or what would happen is they will lend on them but they've got certain loan to value limits okay um, the problem is a lot of them don't actually come out tell you and tell you this what they will say is the line that as a mortgage broker we hate which is subject to valuers' comments. What that means is basically, look, we'll do it if the value says it's okay. Now, that's very hard for us to sort of uh, determine because yes, we've got track records of various lenders, but we don't know it. We've never lived in that block. We don't know what the area is like. So it's very, very difficult uh, for, as, a, as a broker to try to finance these. Um, all we can do is we've got a list of lenders that have got a good track record uh, for, for lending in this type of properties. And also we have got some lenders that have actually got some clear policy on this. Okay, so uh, I'll give an example. Um, we've got a lender out there that's got a, they call it the smellies rule. What that means is essentially if it's on uh, above, a, a takeaway, a restaurant, anything that smells essentially, or food, or it could be, it could be fine enough, a hairdresser, uh, because that's got fumes from the, all the liquid, uh, all the stuff that they use for the hair. So the smell is rule, what they will say is, look, we'll lend on it, but at 60% loan to value. Okay. So it's a very clear policy. And sometimes when you're going down the buy to let route, which is much harder, I would say residential properties are easier to do on those uh, above commercials than, than buy to let and investment properties. So we've got we've got options there. Now we've got other lenders that will say, look, we'll lend up to 90%, okay? Subject to value as comments, okay? And it really depends on the block. So for example, if you're next door, next door to a pub and on the other side is the fish and chip shop or a kebab shop or an off license, they seem to be unsociable hours. They seem to have a, 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 a problem um, uh, for the le for the lenders, and their main problem is: look, you know, if we had to repossess that property, it'll be harder for us to get rid of it. It'll be harder for us to sell it because um, uh, the demand will be less. Okay, so that's the theory. Um, so uh, just running through some of the scenarios, there are some high street lenders that will lend above uh, commercials, you know, access rights. So some of the things to think about when you're looking at buying these type of properties is what's the access like? What are you are you buying directly above the commercial or is it like a couple of floors up? So maybe maybe a shop and it's got two flats on top. So you're not buying the immediate one uh, above the the commercial, but you're buying the other one. That that actually uh, makes a difference for the lenders, especially for the fumes and stuff. If it's a restaurant, for example. So that's one thing. What's either side of the commercial? Um, so you know what's on this side of the commercial, what's on the other side of the commercial, and what's directly obviously below. What's on the parade? Okay, that makes a difference. You know, there's a big difference between a, I don't know, a solicitor's um, business and a takeaway or an off license. So, you know, those things will, will determine loan to values um, that the lenders are willing to lend on, um, resaleability and the valuation figures. You know, let's say there's a property up on the market for 300,000. The lenders' values may come in and say, "Look, yes, I can see it's on the market for three hundred thousand, and I can see you've agreed it for three hundred thousand, but I think it's only worth two ninety because of the block, because of the situation." So, bear that in mind. Obviously, the lease hold, how long the lease is there for, but um, uh, whether you're a first-time buyer, next-time buyer, whether it's a residential, um, I've done a few of those. Uh, we, we from time to time we've got we've had inquiries from. Uh, if it's a buy to let, what type of buy to let is it? Is it a normal standard buy to let or is it an HMO? A lot of lenders, believe it or not, will not lend on HMO flats. So above commercial properties. 
So that's that's something to think about. So if you're just going for a normal buy to let, yes, we've got options. If you're going for an HMO flat, we have got options, but they're limited. A lot of the lenders do not uh, lend within that sector. So hopefully you found this a little bit useful. Um, obviously, for anything else, you can contact us at nicheadvice.co.uk. Please like and subscribe. The channel is growing, and I much appreciate you watching these videos. Please do comment if you need any more information. We've got some questions. Thank you so much.